Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going over how to do your voiceover in VoiceThread slide by slide. So here I am at a presentation I've been working on. What you'd want to do is go ahead and just click record and I would welcome them to the presentation and this presentation is about and then you can just go ahead and finish. Once you're done with the script for this slide you can go ahead and just click stop recording and it's processing right now. Once it's done processing it will go ahead and give you a playback. You can click save and you can see that the recording is here. Now to go on to the next slide you can either click the arrow button or slides that are listed right here. If you click on them you can go and it will give you all your slides in the presentation and you can go ahead and click on the next slide. Click record you know and you go on about the objectives of this presentation and then again once you're done with your script for this slide click stop recording and once it's done processing you'll go ahead and click save and you can see that it's uh, right here and you can just go on and continue to do your whole presentation that way slide by slide and each recording I'll just show you if I go back here that's the recording for this slide when I move on, here's a recording for this slide. On the next one, I don't have a recording yet, so I would just use the same process. Uh, I think this will be a little easier for you because if you do make a mistake on a slide, you only have to re-record that one slide. If you're trying to go through your whole presentation and you make you know, a fairly big mistake, then you'd have to go back and re-record the entire presentation. The other thing that I think is nice about this is that uh, students can go ahead and leave comments on each individual slide. So it acts as its mini presentation all in itself. So I think that's a nice feature to have too. You know, I think you've spent enough time with VoiceThread. It's a little hard when uh, the comments are hidden down in that little bar down there. Thank you for watching this tutorial on VoiceThread.